Like some pelvic thrust. Woo! Woo! Stuff on one foot. Alright, so all that SpongeBob stuff. It's just great. I love it. It's, it's, he's a great guy. Great guy. So here we're going to deal with a thing I call swoosh. Swoosh. So pretty much like, I don't like what SpongeBob said and all that good stuff, but I kind of took it and didn't, I didn't realize it was from, and he said that. So I'm, I'm taking it to say swoosh because we're going to do swoosh. All right. Now here again, they want us to find the log function or change the log function into the exponential function. Here, the swoosh makes this so much easier. And again, we wrote down the exponential function before, but they want you to be able to go from this function, log x base b, they want you to be able to put that, uh, want you to be able to put that into the function of Sorry, let me put the y here. That part. All right, so we have the y. So we got that. So we need to be able to change it from the log function to the exponential function. So we're going to do that by doing our swoosh. So we're going to always start with our base number here. We'll always start with base. We start with the base number and then we do our swoosh. So it starts here at the base five, go around and make it a swoosh right there. So to make this as simple and easy as possible, we're going to move this over a little bit. All we're going to write down is go from the log, this part here, to this part here. We're going to do 5, so it's going to match up with what's going on right here. It's going to match up with that part. So we're going to do 5 is our base number. Y is what the 2 is. And that's going to equal x. So our exponential function is 5 squared equals x. And the last thing is now, what is 5 squared? We should be able to get that really fast, which is 25. And that's it. That's all it is to change from log to exponential, exponential to log. Be quick, easy, fast, not hard at all. Okay, so let's try another one then. Let's try B. Let's do the same thing there. We're going to start with our base number, which is B here this time. We're going to go around. We're going to bring it around town. Bring it around town. Bring it around town. Then we do this and this and this and this. So we write it again, and b squared, so b is the first thing, 2 is the square, equals 25. Now with this one, you can't just leave it because you, you already kind of know what the answer is here. Um, so if we look at it, we know we do the square root of both sides here to get b by itself. So the square and that square root cancel out. So this is with B, and that would equal us with what answer? And most people are like, oh, five, it's just five, that's it. It's just five. And you're not right. It's actually plus or minus five. Uh, there we go. And with that, we know, because of the square that's right here with B, that tells us there should be two answers for it. But you have to go back to remember what we said about B on the screen before, before the video and all good stuff. What was it that we said B had to be? Look back at your notes really quickly. Go back, go back, go back, go back before I say something. Go back, 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 go back. All right, so we said that B has to be greater than zero and not equal to one. So we know the plus or minus 5 here tells us it's a positive 5 and a negative 5, but B has to be greater.
greater than zero. So it has to be a positive number. So we're going to say the final answer here is B equals 5. Now some of you are like, well, that just took a long time to get to B equals 5 because I already knew B equals 5. Make sure that you know how to do this because, yeah, you can't just be like, oh, B is 5 and then get it right and then think you have it right. But then when I change something else up on you later on, you would be like, oh, um, but Mr. Vaughn, I, 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 I'm confused now. No, make sure you do everything. Make sure you understand what's going on. Okay, then we have one last problem. And this one, I would say to make this a little bit easier is to move this around so that it looks like what we've been dealing with. I think I'm out of space, so no. So we're going to move this around so we're dealing with something that we've done before, what we've been doing up here. So I'm going to switch the Y around and move it in front. This is going to happen every single time. Unless you can just do it in your head without actually having to switch it around. That's fine. If you can do that, perfect. If you can't, then switch it around. Switching around is not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing at all. So I switch it around so I, I can visually see it easier. So here, I'm going to put four. Start with the base number. I'm going to bring it around to Bring it around town. No. Like this. So I brought it around town. And I did this. 4 to the y equals 26. And with that 4 to the y, there's really nothing you can put there that's like a whole number right now that are decimal right now that you know that actually can make 26. So we'll leave it just like that. So if you can't simplify it down, simplify it down. If you cannot, leave it just the way it is. I'll write that down here. If you can simplify it down, or if you can solve it, I'll say solve for the variable. Next, even better. Solve for the variable. can't solve for it, then leave as it is. Then be done. Then be done. All right, so that's not hard. It's really easy. Very simple. Please don't make this hard, because if you make it hard, then it's going to be really confusing, and then you're going to be like, Mr. Hall, oh, this doesn't make sense whatsoever. I'm so confused. I'm so lost. So don't make it hard. Please do not make it hard. Do not make it hard.